Robert Wolf on the phone. He is a Fox News contributor. He's a frequent guest on Mornings with Maria. He's the CEO of 32 Advisors, also ran UBS back in the day. Robert, what do you make of this? Well, listen, as you know, I've worked with Jeff for over a decade and spent four or five years with him on uh, President Obama's advisory councils. I mean, listen, Jeff's a thought leader. He had to go through an incredible tough decade of transforming GE away from GE Capital and back as your prior guest thought. I'm sorry, I didn't know his name. I, I just tuned in. But as his prior guest uh, mentioned, into really the three core businesses, industrial, health care, and power. And I think that during that transformation, he took the company from, you know, where they were losing billions of dollars to now an incredibly well-capitalized uh, company. And I think, you know, like all CEOs, it's sometimes it's time to pass the torch after you uh, take the company through these transformations. And, and based on what I read about Flannery, it seems like he's absolutely the right guy. And, um, and so I think it seems like it's going to be a very smooth transition. With respect to Nelson Peltz and Tryon and Ed Gardner and them, mm -hmm. listen, um, they, they work hard to make sure that for their, for their investors that they're forcing decisions at these type of large companies, mm -hmm. whether they end up going to a split, uh, who knows. Obviously, it didn't work with Pepsi, and Pepsi's flourishing without splitting, but, you know, they did force the hand at Mondelez. So, you know, I think time will tell whether um, this company will stay as one now that GE Capital's been rid. Robert, that was some incredible analysis that you gave us in about a minute, and we thank you for that. <laughs> we just wish you were here in person, Robert Wolf. Me Take too. Care. Thank you, Dave. We will see you soon. It.